Hi guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to be doing my country music and book haul. Yeah, so in January my town sort of has a country music festival. It's all just very atmospheric and there's like country music which you can hear playing from miles away. So I thought I might combine the haul that I got from this year's country music festival with my book haul. Enjoy if you're not a fan of country music, that's okay. This I like it. I love a lot of new artists that come out from these festivals. So enjoy. So first up, there are a lot of stands in festivals. I think the top two stands for people were the hand in wax stand and the name on a hat stand. And I got a TMNT name hat. Now since my name is pretty unique, I can't get it on regular merchandise and so I love just when places offer to put your name on stuff. And it is, yes, it's Raph from TMNT and I just, I love it so much. It's like so cool. So I got that and this cost me around about 30 bucks but it was worth it. It was so, so worth it. I love, just love this hat. This is going to be like my awesome hat now. And now we come to the CDs. I'm very picky when it comes to buying CDs. I sort of just wander around. And if someone really catches my eye, I might pick up their CD. So I'm going to go through them quickly now. So first up I got free is Jasmine Atkins. And I heard her busking and she gave out free samples of her EP. So I got that. I then picked up Sophie Rainbow's. EP and I really like one song on this that I heard her singing so that was good and oh my god the next CD like I had to stop in the street because his singing was so beautiful his name is Mitch King and this is his EP After the Sun and I loved it I love I love this CD I love the cover I love his voice his music is so good and it was just awesome now, there is one band which I will always pick up their CD and it's a Celtic Fiddle Band. Now, they were originally going by Pumpkin Juice, but they rebranded themselves to be Strings Unloaded and I picked up their new CD. This is just a collection of Irish and Scottish folk tunes and songs with the fiddles in and I really do love it. I have the last two albums under Pumpkin Juice, which was Fiddle Dee Dee and under something, I don't remember what it was called. But I really do love these. You need to check these out. I will put a clip here of them playing, hopefully. And then after the last CD is Matty Rogers. He's got kind of like a rock and roll voice to him and I really liked it. And he signed it and it's awesome. Not only did I get CDs, a lot of stores have sales around the country music festival time and I picked up <sighs> the hundred seasons one and two and I can't wait to just binge watch this. A lot of my friends on Twitter are being like the hundred's so cool I want this ship to happen and I'm just like what the hell is everyone talking about and I don't like using Netflix that much because it does take up a bit of our data so I just bought the DVDs and this was on sale from 60 to I think $41 so I'm excited to start it to start it I got those two and now moving on to the books and for books I have a bit of a recurring theme here so I'll just get started these are all the books that I bought in the month of January and I have one book on the way but that is going to go in my February haul because I am now officially on a book buying ban due to me going overseas in a few months. So these will be the last books that I purchase. Let's get started. Now I've been hearing a lot about an author called Paulina Simmons, how she wrote the Bronze Horseman trilogy and I really wanted to get into her book. So the first book I picked up was wow, Paulina Simmons' Children of Liberty. This is about a woman who comes from uh, Balpeso 
to Boston and she meets this guy called Harry and they somehow fall in love. I am ways, ways into this book and I really do enjoy Gina and Harry bugs me a bit but I'm sure he'll get well more developed as the book passes but as it stands I really do like Gina and how she's trying to go against her upbringing to give a better life to herself. So as I started to enjoy this book, which the cover by the way is awesome, I do love this style of covers. Like as much as I love the covers of the Bronze Horseman trilogy, the other covers, I do like these sort of covers for the books and that's just personal preference of mine. If you don't like these that's alright. But the second one I got was Paulina Simmons Road to Paradise. I think this is a contemporary novel and I don't like many contemporaries but I love her writing so I'm going to give it a shot. Um, this is really really cool. I love, like I said, I love these covers. Like I don't usually like people on books but these just have, it just works so yeah. This is about two girls, an open road and a yellow mustang. So a road trip book which is going to be awesome to read about. And da, 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 after many convincings and many trials I got The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simmons. And yes, I love this cover as well. Like this cover was the one that I chose. I had two options obviously but I love this cover. Like I couldn't it just kept staring at me like, buy me, buy me, buy me. So I bought you and I will read you soon, I promise. I'm going to get to this soon. I do love historical fiction and apparently this is really, really good. A lot of people on BookTube have recommended that people pick this up, so I'm going to give it a whirl. And the last book I bought in the month of January. Why don't I, oh, never mind. Is another historical novel. Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grail Din Golden whatever. As far as I can tell, this is a novel about a motorcycle race to get a chance to meet Hitler. And I can't wait to get to it. It's on a long list of books that I've got to read, but I, I love this cover. Like between this one and the gold and red one, I prefer this one. I don't know why, but I just do. So yeah, so that was my country music book haul um thumbs up if you enjoyed the video leave a like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video and have a fabulous day bye <laughs>